Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can make audio visualizers and how you can add them to your videos so you can make your videos more alive, more vibrant and more entertaining to watch. To get started, we're going to use Veed's online video editor and you can instantly get started. You simply head over to your browser and type in the URL box v.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now, as you can see, we're in Veed's editor and we can start a new project. You can choose one of the amazing templates or start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to click on upload a file to upload my video. I'm going to click on snippet flying squirrel and then click on open. After a moment, the video is imported and uploaded into the editor and we can watch the video back. Welcome to my podcast. In this episode, I'm going to talk about flying squirrels. Now, this is a podcast snippet that I recorded and I want to add an audio visualizer to this. Now, to make that happen, it's very easy. Head over to elements in the left menu. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see sound waves. You can scroll to the right a little bit and you can see all the styles portrayed, but you can also simply click on view all to view them all. Then choose the one you like. I'm gonna choose this one. And as you can see, if I play the video, flying squirrels to me are one of the most amazing animals the audio visualizer is added to the video. Naturally, there are more things you can do with this audio visualizer. For instance, if you take a look on the left, you can change the color. You simply click on the color tool and then just change the color to whatever you like. You can change the opacity levels. You can change the decibel control and you can change the duration. You can also change the duration by heading over to the bottom timeline where you can see the sound wave layer. You simply click on one of the sides and you can extend or shorten it. In this case, I want to use the total length of the audio visualizer, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And also within the video frame, you can also use the side and corner options to resize the audio visualizer. You can click it from the middle and drag it around to reposition it. And you can also use the rotating option to rotate it. And if you ended up not liking the style of this specific audio visualizer, no worries, you can easily change it. Head over to the Soundwave menu and on the style, you can simply choose another style. Let's say you wanna have a round one this time. I'm gonna select it. And as I said, you can click on it and just drag it around to relocate it. And you can also resize it, of course. And let's just play it back very fast. And above all, they can glide through the air. Nice. Now let's say one audio visualizer is just simply not enough and you wanna add another one, which I can understand. Just head over to elements again, or click on back next to edit sound wave. So you can see the list of audio audio visualizers and select the one you like to add. And again, you can change the style, the color, the decibel control, duration. You can use the side and corner options to resize it and you can relocate it. And you can add as many audio visualizers as you like. So in this case, I'm gonna make this one white. There you go. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit wider. So it covers the screen. There you go. I wanna have it in the middle. Let's have a look. Very fast to run very fast. Nice. So let's say you wanna use this for Instagram. You can easily change the aspect ratio to make this happen. Head over to settings in the left menu and on the size, you can choose a different dimension. In this case, I wanna choose Instagram story. I'm gonna click on Instagram story. And as you can see, the audio visualizers kind of changed while changing the aspect ratio. So you can just simply use the side and corner options to change this again. Let's just put this one above my head and let's just keep this one the way it is. Let's have a look over the air. Um, if I had to choose to be cool. Now, if you think the video is a little bit too small, no worries, you can also change the size of the video. So simply click on the video itself and click on fill the canvas. And you can use the side and corner options just like with the audio visualizers to resize and reshape it the way you like. Now, personally, I think there are too many audio visualizers added to this video because of the aspect ratio. So if you wanna delete one, simply click on the audio visualizer and scroll down the menu where you can see delete sound wave or simply click on Backspace. So that's how you easily make audio visualizers and add them to your videos. Now, if you wanna export your video, it's very easy. Head over to export in the right top corner, choose your preferred render settings. I'm gonna choose Instagram for now. Let's have a look, there it is. And click on export video. After the video is rendered, you can watch the video back on the left. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim, welcome to my podcast. And as you can see, the audio visualizer is added to the video. Now, if you wanna share your video, head over to the big blue share button below the video, and you can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can add the link to your socials or embed the video on your website. Or if you wanna download your video to your device, head over to the download button below the video, click on download MP4, and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's how you make audio visualizers and add them to your videos. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.